I am Game Guy. It's time for more Let's Play Dark Cloud 2. This is, in fact, a Geostone. So from now on, uh, stages, you've, well, dungeon floors will have like a little notice at the bottom there that says a Geostone fell. Uh, this is important because there's a new thing to collect. All right. Here we are. I don't remember. Oh, there's another mole in here. Moles are my favorite. I'm probably just gonna start cutting until things happen with a lot of these floors. We've kind of reached that point in the game where it's not introducing new concepts rapid fire, so. You know. Got a new enemy over here. It's the, the face of someone, probably. I don't know. I'm not entirely remembering what this guy does, but he's gonna die, probably. Uh-oh. Speaking of die, I might. Um, oh yeah, I got these, and I didn't use them for some reason. You know what? Let's just go ahead. Uh, I have a bread. Bread is good. Do you do, you do anything, sir? You spit poison or whatever. That's pretty nice. He's got a sword. Swords are cool. Ow. Ah, that's a new status effect right there. It's not actually poison at all. It's thirst. Uh, when you're thirsty, um, you, you can't eat food, basically. Um, let's see. Do I have anything to eat even? Like, I have this roasted chestnut. See, it, it won't allow me to even use it on Monica. Well, Monica's at full health, so that's probably why. So that's what Tasty Water's for. Delicious. And see, now I'm allowed to use it on Max. I don't really need to, but, you know. It's whatever. Blue paint? That's weird. Oh man, I found a gun! Nice! Yeah, you can get duplicates of weapons, it's it's fine. Ah, see that on the map? It's a pink. There's a geostone over there. There's another face guy over here. I actually did not mean to pick this guy up, and yet here we are. Uh, this is kind of a, a weird sort of deal. You are um, not particularly weak to the, the sword, are you? That's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, deal with y'all from a di well. I would, but then I'm not gonna be able to get the experience anyway. This is a geostone. You just pick it up. That's it. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, hey, mimics are here too. Just in case you wanted to know, uh, this is a technically stronger mimic. Uh, they match the dungeon type you're in. See, because now he's a, a grassy chest. Not really a new enemy, but technically a new enemy. Alright, that takes care of you guys. You guys are dead. No one even cares about all of you. It's a sad day in the world when all of the enemies have been deceased. Real quick, I might as well mention this, you know, while I'm in the neighborhood. Uh, turns out you can actually fish once the dungeon is complete. Like you can't do it if there's monsters around. Pretty sure you can fish in any body of water, but I remember there was a big one on the way out anyway, so I'm gonna... Go check that out. Uh, one of the goals, like you remember the metal goals that are like listed at the beginning? Uh, you, you can, you can like, one of the metal goals is, is for fishing. Just what I'm attempting to say here. So, you know, just, uh, you just go fishing once the dungeon's done. Uh, your goal is basically to catch a big enough fish 
I don't know how easy or hard most of these are, because admittedly I haven't really super bothered with fishing. So... It's just kind of one of those things, you know? Got myself a hit! Aww, yeah! It's going left. It's really small, because it's not hard to keep at all. I got a Niller! Yeah! Yeah, but I mean, it's... It's a thing you can do. It's kind of annoying to have to, like, re-equip more bait, I guess, but I'll, I'll do it, like, once more. Why not? I mean, I'm here. You never know. I might get lucky and catch a super cool fish. I might. I probably won't, but I could. All right. This is probably also pretty small. You can usually tell by how quick the bar on the right goes up how big or small it is. This one's a gummy, though. It's 41 centimeters. I, like, I don't know what the... Actually, I could check. You can go to move at any time, actually. Oh, I need 50 centimeters. Or more. That's not terrible. I mean, I don't remember what my first fish was, but, I mean, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm, uh, I'm gonna get out of here now. <laughs> Just kind of wanted to show that this is a thing you can do. Next up, noise in the forest. New enemy type over here. We got the Sonic Bomber. Uh, yet another ride pod enemy, probably. They do like this cool little shockwave thing sometimes. You wanna, you wanna do it? You wanna? I mean, I don't... Why did you die? I don't know why he died. I just wanted him to do the sonic boom thing. I mean, I see he has a friend over here, but... I'm gonna... There we go. Super rad sonic boom. Freaking plant guy, get the heck out of my way. <laughs> I'm trying to have an epic battle with my robot friend. You silly Billy. This is a dead end. Kind of noticing this floor has a lot of uh, ride pod enemies. It's a bunch of those big trees and the robots everywhere. This ride pod central over here. Oh, hello. These guys. Okay, so these guys can be pretty dangerous. That little clapping attack you just did, that can shred you if you are, like, not careful. Um, be on your guard when they are facing you, especially if they're super aggro. Uh, they can shoot a projectile at you also, so do be aware of that. And see, he shoots a projectile. I can do a whole one damage. That That's basically this enemy in a nutshell. Oh man, Geostone. Now Max gets to collect it. Wowie! My gun is almost broke! So many robots and trees in this forest! It's weird. I left the forest! Hello, Conda! I found some geostones, all right. Let's use the Carpentarian. Yeah, I mean, it's that thing we've been hyping up, but I, I went and did two dungeon floors real quick. I think you can come back here and do it with just one. I actually don't remember. But this will happen when you leave the forest the first time, which is why I didn't, like, leave the forest, even though I probably should have. But whatever. Yo, they gathered some stuff for us. I gotta have materials, though. Uh, but you know, your item bag looks mighty small to me. No room for anything. I mean, it's actually pretty big. Like, I haven't hit the end of it yet, so... You know, let's make it bigger now. 
I, you know, I don't feel like I've ever hit the item limit. Like, about the only way you would do that is if you're carrying, like, a stockpile of extra weapons and whatnot. Which would kind of be silly. Alright, well, I got 28 rolling logs, a sturdy cloth, a glass material, a sugar cane, a scrap of metal, a fire element, 20 water element. Ah, yes. Call the Carpenterian to you. Yeah, just press select button. It's not actually a button on the PS4, because that's weird. You gotta press the select button. You gotta press the select button. You gotta press the select button. Guys, you do you realize you gotta press the select button? You gotta press the select button. You absolutely got you you have to press you gotta alright, well. <laughs> there he is! He's got all the tools that you need. Ah, this is a geostone. It's filled with the wisdom of people from the past. You just kind of chuck them in this hole here. Whoops. Downloading geostone. I don't know if this download bar is necessary, but it's there, I guess. I can make a wooden house and an iron chimney, and a thorn tree, and a wooden stand, and a wooden stairs, and a river, and an eye tree one, and an eye tree two, and a nose tree. Force, yeah, it just, you get a lot of stuff. Uh, conditions are those things that we need to figure out in order to make things good. I almost forgot. Geostones not only have info about how to build things, but data on how to develop a better future. Because, you know, remember the analysis tab? I already kind of explained this somewhat. Mm, the upper right, you got your pylons. Yeah. It requires a certain type of energy. I mean, that's what we can call it, I guess. I mean, we have to call it something, I suppose. Yeah, you can't go over that limit. It's very important. If you ever want to know anything else, you can just ask me with the help receiver. Donnie? Is this okay? I hope it's okay, because, um... We weren't really given a choice here. Anyway, I'll leave the rest up to you guys. I'm gonna go on that train thingamajig. Ah, yes, in the last car. Yeah, do remember this. He is always there. He will sell you basically every Georama material you will ever need. So, he's kind of important. Like, remember all those shops everybody has? Like, he kind of nullifies the entire point of most of them. It's kind of weird. But it is what it is, I guess. And, oh, and we're just here. All right, well, it's Georama time here in this place. So let me take a look here. Yeah, we got a few of these things figured out, but a lot of it is still kind of a mystery at present. Um, what I do want to do is you can make eye tree and nose tree. I'm going to go ahead and you can only make one of each. I think I have enough to make all of them. Probably. Yeah, I sure do. River, I know I'm going to need as many as I can make. So let's just go ahead and make 20 river pieces. And uh, that's, that's pretty much it at this point. Uh, I would hazard to guess, and I say this not because, you know, it's obvious. Oh, oh, sorry, if you press circle, you pick it back up. Or, well, you, you undo, basically. <laughs> if, I, if I had to guess correctly, we gotta place these in such a way. You can, like, rotate these and then use the D-pad for, like, micro-pixel movements. Yeah, it's, um... L2, R2 to rotate. That's what that is all about. Let's place I tree. No, I tree two. There we go. While we're at it, I guess we might as well place these rivers. So placing rivers is pretty simple. You just 
You just dig it up with your big old shovel face over here. Big giant shovel face. And make a little tiny pond over here. Why not? You know, I might come back over here and fish or something. Probably not. But maybe. Just maybe. I'm just kind of making a, a, you know, a straight shot river for no real reason in particular. It's just kind of here. No one knows why. It's going to end with a small pond. A slightly bigger pond, actually. Let's go ahead and do that. It's very square-esque. Ah, but this pond gets a little bit bigger and heads down this way. I am out of river pieces, but it's fine. It is fine, actually. It, whoops, I didn't mean to hit circle. Can I make anything else, or was that it? I think that was it for the moment. No, I can make a wooden house. I'll make a wooden house. Alright, so houses are a little bit different, actually, because uh, they will be what gives you your culture points and everything. As far as that goes, what you should probably do is put houses close together. Um, I don't remember exactly how many houses I will need for this, but for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and make a few of these things and place them and all that. You gotta place this on the house. You can kind of select where it goes. And we did it. We made a house. We did it. I can make more trees. How many trees can I make? As many as I want, probably. I uh, can't get upstairs without these. I mean, that's... Probably true. Anyway, so you'll notice here, uh, I have fulfilled something. I fulfilled the forest lake and uh, a few other little points of interest as well without even completely realizing it, but, you know, it's, it's whatever. There's been a change in the future. Yeah, anytime you um, fill out one of those things, then, uh, you know, you get all sorts of stuff. Also, while I'm here... Gotta take a picture of Jurak's eye and Jurak's nose. It's very important. I'm gonna go take a quick peek at the future. I don't know if the lake really does anything for me right now. You can skip this, by the way. The game still has to load a little bit. I mean, there are some chests here now. Which parfait? It's about time. Uh, Monica gets her defense up item, so that's pretty cool. I thought those were like hanging flags for a second, and I got real confused. Cause it's like, why are those there? I don't understand, if I'm being honest. Um, I don't see any more things. I'm pretty sure that guy says the same stuff. I'm not real sure where the lake is is like is it just i guess it's just the water was the water not there before i actually do not recall <laughs> but it's fine it's all right Of note, it's kind of weird while I'm here. The fishing rod has WHP for some reason, even though you can never actually use it as a weapon. I'm not really sure why that is, other than it just, I guess, has to. Um, yeah, I mean, I might as well keep Max and Monica even. There's not really much of a reason not to. Actually, well, I wanted to go in here because I wanted to check to see if this, uh... No, it doesn't have WHP listed. Weird. Ah, see here, you notice how the number for the bombs turned blue? Uh, that means we've reached maximum capacity for bombs. Uh, even if they're separated, you can still only hold uh, 20. Also, yeah, I've already had that with five ride pod fuel, but you know how to... A lot of things in this game have a maximum of, like, 20, or I 
I think some things go up to 9.99, but I don't remember what exactly. Most healing items, I believe, only go up to 20. All right, next up. Uh-oh. It's a pixie. Also, it's a blue seal. Ah, here's something interesting. Also, it's raining. This just happens sometimes. I think at most it has an effect on fishing when you're done with the floor. Um, other than that, it's just an aesthetic thing. Anyway, blue seal is like the red seal, only Max is the only one who can be alive, which arguably is easier because you have access to ride pod, so kind of a thing, to be honest. Uh, I don't know how worth showing most of this is. Wow, I got immediately poisoned. Good start. Uh, so poison, obviously, damage over time. I don't know if that was obvious or not. Oh, speaking of, here's the pixie. There it is. Uh, these guys have like a weird head mouth thing and they shoot fireballs sometimes. You were very resistant to the wrench. Not so much the gun though. Finally, another enemy weak to gun. Been a bit, actually. Also, Geostone just kind of hanging out over here in the corner. FYI, Ride Pod cannot pick up a Geostone, just in case you wanted to know. Oh, hello! King Mimic, here to say hello. <laughs> I got a ride pod with your name on it, buddy. I ain't even dealing with that nonsense. Oh man, I got a wrench. Nice. I should probably do something with all these extra weapons, but it, later. Uh-oh. Was my gun ready to build up before? I actually don't remember. I'm still gonna probably level it up one more time, but... You know. Oh, that, that was the last one. Alright, well. <laughs> I didn't even use Ride Pod much, I just didn't feel like fighting a Mimic. It's, it's, it's a weird sort of thing. I guess. Uh, finally the map. It's weird, I've um, gotten the map late past several floors. I don't know what that's about. But uh, where was the exit? I don't remember. Generally speaking, between floors, you may want to jump into the Georama area and see what each Geostone does, but most of the time it's probably better to just wait until you hit some sort of roadblock before jumping into Georama stuff. Because usually one Geostone doesn't give you a whole lot to work with. Just from my experience. Anyway, there's been this um, bit of an elephant in the room here as far as the floor layout goes. Legendary Killer Snake is here. Alright, right off the bat, uh, we got ourselves a new dude. Um... There is a scoop with this guy, by the way. Hold on, there's a guy. I, I, I heard Robo face somewhere, but I don't know where he's at. I don't remember exactly how to get it. This guy will eventually, like, roar? I don't know if I have to get close to him or something. Oh, we have an ice variant of this guy. There's generally different variants of this particular enemy type. I'm just gonna kinda get you the heck out of here so I can focus on the one guy as the camera just does not know what to do. Get the heck out of here. Ice dude is not a nice dude. Okay, let's, now that we've gotten all of the attention away, let's grab this geostone since it's just kind of here. It's a pretty important thing. I have a feeling I need to get, like, get you to do something. Do you wanna... Nope. I don't remember how to trigger what I'm doing here. You, you just gonna stare at me? 
I wasn't expecting you to just be so talkative, sir. I think I have to attack you a little bit. There it is. All right. Sometimes he'll just yell. I, I don't know exactly what triggers that, but uh, it is a thing of note. Anyway, now that that's all done. You uh, don't care about guns. I mean, these guys aren't like mega hyper threatening yet, but oh baby. You know, actually, now that I got a map, let me take a look at something here. While you're traveling through this dungeon floor, you might notice something. If you look carefully, there's two exits. There's like one right by Monica's sword and there's another one up near the top. That's weird, isn't it? Hmm. Oops, I actually did not mean to do that. Oh, nice dodge. See, so yeah, as we pass by this exit over here, you might notice something a little different. Looks like you can't go any further yet. Hmm. A mysterious glowing force prevents us from moving forward in that direction. Uh-oh. Looks like we got ourselves a snake problem here. Uh, you don't care about gun. I'm gonna go ahead and again, just get you the heck out of here. Just, you know, putting it out there. So the snakes will burrow underground. That means they're gonna pop up underneath you somewhere. As long as you keep moving, not too much of a problem. Actually, you can check the radar, well, the map, to see where they're gonna pop up, because they're, they're little red dot, like, teleports. Yeah, like, pretty much right to you. I believe these guys are weak to sword, actually. Well, weaker to sword, anyway. They're pretty tough enemies, actually. You gotta watch out. I just took damage. Zero damage, actually. <laughs> That's weird, man. All right, killer snake. Oop. You don't seem to care about the ways of the world. Yeah, the problem here is they keep diving underground, which makes them uh, a little bit tricky to keep a lock on of. Oop. So this is kind of another one of those enemies like the mole that uh, you might be better off just, you know, not bothering to lock on to, then you might have a little bit of a hard time here. I'm not doing the best at dodging here. Stop doing zero damage to me, friend. Yeah, I don't know what I'm supposed to do to deal more damage to you, other than ride pod, I guess. But that's the snake. Watch out. You're pretty dangerous, actually. <laughs> How do you fare against Ride Pod? Okay, you don't like Ride Pod. <laughs> oh, well that hasn't happened yet. Sometimes you just straight up encounter an empty chest. It's weird, actually. <laughs> Oh, 
One problem with these guys is you have to kind of wait for them to come down to your level sometimes, depending on what weapon you're using. Generally speaking, you may want to use projectiles on these guys. But, uh, they don't seem to be weak to guns, so that's kind of an issue, I suppose. Ah, but this exit over here seems totally normal outside of the, uh, the little sun symbol there. Yeah. Magic kill. Looks like we got them all. We sure did. So yeah, we can use this exit. You cannot use the other one. That's how this works, I guess. Where's that saw at? Why is it there? No one knows. Anyway, let's uh, let's get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, uh, that's it for now. Uh, next time, we got some shenanigans to do outside of the dungeon, probably, so I'll see you later, and goodbye.